Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Queen and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of living and non-living things. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question two, study the table below. In this table, we have two things, X and Y, and two different characteristics given in the table. Now, based on these two characteristics, the question wants us to identify whether X and Y are living things or non-living things. So let's take a look at the first characteristic. The question is, does it need food? So can you recall what kind of things need food? If you're thinking about living things, you're right. Living things need food to survive. So if you think about humans, we need food to carry out our daily activities such as running, walking, studying, and even sleeping. So we need food to survive. Now, other than food, what else do living things need to survive? We also need to drink water, correct? So water is important as well. Other than that, we need to breathe, which means that we are taking in air. So food, water, and air are three important things for us to survive. So back to the question, if you look at the first characteristic here, does it need food? Are you able to identify which is the living thing between X and Y? The answer is Y, because Y needs food. Therefore, we know that Y is a living thing. And what about X? If X does not need food, can we call it a living thing? No. So what do we call something that does not need food? We call it a non-living thing. Now we can double check the answer using the second characteristic. The question is, can it grow? So is the ability to grow a characteristic of living things or non-living things? This is the characteristic of living things. Therefore, if you take a look at Y, it can grow. So we can now confirm that Y is a living thing. But some of you might be thinking, why is it that X can grow as well? Does it mean that X is a living thing? Now, I want you to think about a balloon. What happens when you blow air into a balloon? The balloon would inflate, correct? And what if I want the balloon to be even bigger? That means I just have to blow more air into the balloon. So as we blow more and more air into the balloon, the balloon becomes bigger in size or it is growing. But does it mean that the balloon is a living thing? No, the balloon is a non-living thing which can grow. So even though X can grow, it is not a living thing. Because based on the first characteristic, which is X does not need food, we can confirm that X is a non-living thing. So with that, let's take a look at the question. Which of the following statements about X and Y is correct? Number one, both X and Y are living things. Is this statement correct? No, this is wrong because only Y is a living thing as we identified earlier. Number two, both X and Y are non-living things. So this statement is wrong as well because only X is a non-living thing. Number three, X is a living thing, but Y is a non-living thing. Is this statement correct? This seems to be the opposite of what we have identified, right? X is a non-living thing, Y is a living thing. Therefore, the correct answer for this question should be number four. Y is a living thing but X is a non-living thing. This is the correct answer for this question. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!